All right, so 10. So I'm not really fatigued, okay? I could do another 15 or 20, but instead I'm gonna superset directly to the flies. One. Hey guys, I'm Mark McKillier with Live Anabolic. And today I have a dumbbell only chest workout that you can do at home. And the interesting thing about this workout today is we're only gonna use really lightweight dumbbells. And the reason I came up with this, this idea today is because a lot of you, I know, don't have a big set of dumbbells at home. You might have a pair of 10s, a pair of 20s, and 30s. Um, and so for a lot of you guys, even those 30-pound dumbbells are not heavy enough to really push yourself hard when you're doing like a traditional set of 10 to 12 reps. Because the weight you've just gotten strong enough from working out and sticking with the program that basically when you get to that 10th or 12th rep, you're not exhausted. Matter of fact, you're not even near failure. All right. So I've come up with a workout today that allows all you guys out there that don't have very heavy dumbbells at home to still get in a really good effective chest workout where you're going to get a fantastic pump and it's going to look really good when you're done. And so guys, the chest muscles are really big, plus there's a lot of other muscles involved because when we do these exercises, most of them are gonna be compound exercises, which means we're gonna be using multiple muscle groups and multiple joints at the same time. And when we do this, you get a lot of blood pumping in to all these different muscle groups. And of course the blood pump is what makes the muscles look really big while you're working out. And that's the cool thing. It feels great, it looks great. And then the other thing I want you guys to realize is, you know all those professional bodybuilders? I mean, the guys that are serious, that compete? When they're backstage, before they come out and do their posing, none of those guys have heavy dumbbells back there to pump up with. I've done a couple of contests, I was really surprised. You go backstage, there's all these girls, all these guys walking around, Everybody's getting ready to walk out on stage in a few minutes in a few minutes and they don't have a bench press with 300 pounds Okay, all they got is a few pairs of lightweight dumbbells laying around and some of the guys only have bands nothing else So these guys have to figure out a way to get a really great pump going so they look great when they walk on stage But they can only use lightweight dumbbells. So once again, we're gonna take some of those concepts that the bodybuilders use backstage to pump up in today's workout. So stick around, I got four exercises for you and I'm gonna show you how to do them one after another. But before I get to that, I just wanna quickly mention that we have a Facebook group. And I know some of you guys don't like Facebook, I don't care, I'm not a Facebook fan either. Just click the link below this video and check it out. It's phenomenal, over 15,000 guys, all around the world. I mean, we're talking Australia, Canada, Europe, Asia, South America, I mean, everywhere. Bunch of great guys, best fitness site on all of Facebook. And it's specifically for guys my age. So we got guys in there from their 40s all the way to their 80s, super cool guys. I'm the moderator, which means I'm on there every day, answering questions and helping everybody out. So it's free. Check it out, I promise you won't regret it. Okay, so because we're only gonna be using lightweight dumbbells today, these are way, way, way lighter than I would ever use when I'm working out. I wanna start off by telling you there's gonna be two ways we can do each exercise today, all right? And I want you to experiment with both ways, all right? The first way is kind of the normal tempo, the normal speed that you would go about doing a particular exercise, doing each rep. All right, so if you're gonna use the normal speed, then I want you to be doing 20 to 25 reps, okay, of each exercise. Now, I'm also gonna show you how to do it with a really slow, deliberate, okay, speed. You're still gonna go through the full range of motion, but you're gonna be going much, much slower than you normally would. And if you do it that way, I want you to do each exercise for just 10 to 15 reps, all right? So the very first exercise is a dumbbell incline press. So guys, if you don't have a bench like this, 
you can still replicate an incline press movement using a couch and some cushions okay and i've shot some other videos on that but for today i just want to i just want to show you how to do the exercise because it's really more important the techniques i'm going to show you today versus doing it on the floor versus on a bench okay so i'm going to start off with doing the normal speed and remember this is a much lighter weight than i normally would all right so normal speed would be like this two three four five okay so it's kind of a nice controlled movement i'm controlling the weight up and down okay i'm feeling the weight but remember because this is such a light weight you know if i stopped at the normal range which is typically 8 to 12 reps I wouldn't be anywhere near failure all right so i wouldn't be getting much out of the exercise so once again you're gonna have to do this way way more reps okay and honestly guys doing a lightweight high rep count 20 25 maybe even 30 is a lot tougher and more painful because it takes so long you start getting a lot of lactic acid build up in your muscles but still, this is the way these guys pump up these serious bodybuilders backstage before they walk in front of the lights and the judges, all right? Now, the second method, all right, same exercise. I just want you to really slow down the tempo, all right? And because we're going slow, we're going to have a lot of time under tension. And because of that, of course, we don't need to do as many reps, all right? So here we go. It's the same exercise. But I want you guys to do about three seconds up and three seconds down. So it's zero, one, two, three, zero, one, two, three, zero, one, two, three, zero, one, two, three. Now this is a this is a funny little thing I just want to mention to you guys. Most everybody counts wrong. All right, how hard can that be, right? Let me show you what most people do. They go, one, two, three, one, two, three. If you start at one and you get to three, that's only been two seconds, right? <laughs> so you got to start at zero or go from one to four. I don't care. But I want you to do 10 to 15 reps, okay? three seconds up and three seconds down so if you want you can go one two three four one two three four zero one two three zero one two three all right two different ways do the same exercise but because we're using light weight we're getting a lot of time under tension and if you do it right and get that great mind-muscle connection, you'll really start to feel a pump. Okay, so exercise number two, you know, once again, we're using really light dumbbells. And this time, guys, because of the nature of the exercise itself, you just naturally cannot use very heavy weight. And these are going to be dumbbell flies. So I'm going to put these down real quick and show you from a physics standpoint why you just never can use much weight, myself included. And that is, when we're doing a dumbbell press, we're pushing straight up, okay? So the, the weight, the physics, the weight is acting straight through my forearm, through my elbow, and it's pushing down. And it's trying to rotate my upper arm around my shoulder joint. Well, you got this leverage here, which is not particularly long, so your muscles only have to resist a weight that's really going down through your elbow, okay? Now a fly means I'm gonna have my hand way out here. I'm gonna be holding the dumbbell way out here. Now the weight is pushing through my hand and the leverage distance is from my hand to my shoulder. So it's, it's more than twice the distance. So it's got more, the weight itself has more than twice the leverage over the same muscles. All right, so that's why just naturally speaking, from a physics standpoint, you can't use much weight 
when you're doing flies, okay? So anyway, this is kind of, this kind of uh, exercise basically just solves itself, solves its own problem of not having real heavy weights at home. So guys, here's the movement, all right? Slowly go out. And I want you guys to just kind of feel in your own shoulders where, how deep you can go without feeling, you know, pain in your shoulder joints. Now, I don't have to go way, way, way deep. I don't have to get these dumbbells behind me because see how my elbows stay slightly bent throughout the full range of motion? That means I can get my elbows real nice and deep behind my back while my hands are a little higher up. So just like the other one, I can do 10 to 15 reps of what I would, this would be I would call the normal speed or average kind of speed for a rep. And you can do it this way for 10 to 12 reps or if you have really, really light bit dumbbells and that's just too easy, then you need to go to doing, you know, 20 to 25 reps, okay? And then you're just gonna have to, once again, it's the same technique, but because your, your dumbbells are so light and it's not hard to do 10 to 15, you're just gonna have to knock out a ton of reps. When of course, when you're doing lots of reps with a light weight, the muscles are still gonna be tense. Now they're, they're not contracting with 100% efficiency, okay? But even though you're may, you might only be calling on 20% of the muscle fibers because your dumbbells are so light, you make up for that because you're doing 20 to 25 reps and those muscle fibers are under tension for a really, really long time. So it makes, it basically makes your dumbbells feel a lot heavier than they really are. Okay, so our third exercise today, guys, is gonna be, we're gonna leave the, the bench flat and we're gonna be doing a chest press again. So the very first exercise was an incline chest press. And when you're doing an incline, you're focusing more attention or more stress on the upper muscle fibers of your chest. Okay, now you're still working your lower chest also, but you're just placing more emphasis on the upper part of your chest than you normally would doing a flat bench. So exercise number three, we're just gonna do it flat. Now, once again, because we're flat, we're not just hitting the lower pecs. We're still using our upper pecs, but we're just not putting as much emphasis on the upper, okay? So this is the same form, but I want you guys to be doing it flat. And the reason that I have you doing both an incline and a decline is because it's really important when we're working on a particular muscle group to use lots of different exercises so that we hit the muscles from different angles. And then in addition to that, your mind-muscle connection is calling on different muscle fibers to contract. Yeah, some of those muscle fibers overlap from exercise to exercise, but some don't, okay? And so that's why you see these really serious guys that are just jacked, big bodybuilders. You know, they'll go in and they will work on a single muscle group for two hours, all right? Now they don't just sit there and do the same exercise over and over and over for two hours. They do tons of different exercises. So if they, you know, of course they're at a gym, let's say they're working our chest like we are today you know, they, those serious guys might do six or seven completely different exercises just targeting their chest. And on each exercise, they might do three or four sets, all right? So if you do four sets times seven exercises, that's 28 sets of chest, okay? So that's, that's the, basically the technique that we're trying to recreate here at home with nothing more than some light dumbbells. I'm having you do lots of different exercises that are, even though they're similar, they're just different enough that they're calling on different muscle fibers in the same muscle group. And hence, we're trying to get the entire chest fatigued and pumped. 
All right, so exercise number four really is not a completely different exercise. All I'm gonna do is combine two previous exercises that we just talked about together and we're gonna do them as a superset. Now, superset, guys, is just basically two exercises done back to back with little or no rest in between. All right, so we're gonna start off with an incline dumbbell press, okay? You only need to do 10 to 15 reps, okay? But because the weight's real light and we're doing it at normal speed, you're not gonna be real fatigued, okay, when you get to 10 to 15. But Without any rest, I want you to transition immediately into incline dumbbell flies. Now, our previous flies that I showed you in exercise number two were done on a flat bench. So now we're going to be doing an incline. Once again, I'm just kind of mixing up the angles so that we attack all these different muscle fibers from slightly different angles. All right, so here we go. Superset. We're going to do one, two, three four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, so 10. So I'm not really fatigued, okay? I could do another 15 or 20, but instead I'm gonna superset directly to the flies. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, lightweight dumbbells, but because I super <laughs> two exercises back to back, it made it feel much heavier, much more difficult. And I can actually start to feel the blood filling up in my chest, starting to get a pump. So guys, if you don't have heavy dumbbells at home, you can still get in some great chest workouts. But the problem is, you need to modify your exercises, okay? And I gave you basically several different ways to do it. So you can go with really high reps, 20, 25. Some of you guys might need to do more than 25 reps, depending on how strong you are and how light your dumbbells are. The other way you can do them is very slow tempo, okay? So about three seconds up and about three seconds down on each rep. Then you don't have to do as many reps. You might only have to do 10 to 15 before you get really fatigued. And then, of course, the third way is you can combine a couple exercises back to back as a superset. And that, of course, really makes things much, much more difficult. So, guys, don't give up. Don't think you can't build muscle at home because you don't have heavy enough dumbbells. Now, the flip side of that coin is, especially if you're doing my Fit After 50 program, each phase, I tell you to do a certain number of reps, and I tell you to pick a certain weight that is a certain amount of difficulty for the number of reps for that particular phase, all right? Which means I really do want you guys to go buy heavier dumbbells, okay? Yes, it's money, but dumbbells last forever, guys, okay? It's a one-time investment. So if you're doing my Fit After 50 program, I really, really encourage you guys to buy heavier dumbbells as you get stronger because you start off, you know, the, the stuff that you have in home might be fine, but I promise after a month or two, you're going to get radically stronger. I mean, much stronger. And you're just simply going to have to get heavier dumbbells. But if you're not there yet and you're just trying to hold off on spending that money, Today's video should give you some really good options on how to build a big chest without heavy dumbbells, but you got to stick with it and never give up on yourself.